Place Hi, that we're Phil and Sue and we are the proud owners of four glamorous <coughs> Afghan hounds. We bought our first Afghan in 1975. Her name was Cleo, Cleopatra. Um, it was because of a friend of Phil's that had an Afghan hound and he was absolutely That's lovely. Um, they are crazy, adorable, funny, sometimes they can be aloof and very naughty. The four we've got now are Mademoiselle Coco. And she's a, a gold with a black mask. She's eight years old. We also got her litter sister, who's Libby Lou. She's also eight. And then for our Ruby wedding anniversary, we, were, we bought our Ruby Rose, hence Rosie. And she's now five. And recently we bought a pup from Hungary and her name is Ronnie. Mostly they eat, they have chicken, um, uh, three bags of chicken, which is about eight pounds for the three bags. Once a week, they have a treat of steak, which is two trays of steak. That costs us ten pound, doesn't it? Yeah. And then in between the chicken, they have minced steak. So it's roughly about seventy-five pound a week to feed them. Well, they have a bath once a week, and a bath, a dry, and a groom takes me two hours per yes. dog. Yeah. Um, and then every every other day they get a, a just a brush just to keep them nice otherwise if you don't they will start to knot up we bought a motorhome didn't we and they all know where to sit in the motorhome they've all got their harnesses and that's if we go away whatever the time of year or the weather they've got raincoats so i put snood on as well so that their ears don't when they look down at the floor they'll get wet ears and even if it's rained and it's still not dry they will flick up the wet underneath them and still get mucky when we're out walking them people come up to us and stop and the dogs love it they will stand there and do all this i'm an afghan come and say hello to me and uh, quite often they say what is it what breed is it and then you have to explain it's an afghan hound and oh she's lovely oh can we stroke her we love all our dogs equally don't we yeah and no expense spared if they want something they have it we do spoil them rotten um that's what you do. And they've got their treat jar, and as soon as you lift the dog's nose, it pays a tune, and they know they're going to get the little biscuit bones, which they love.